What's going on guys? We are closing out the new year with a day in the life vlog for you. Haven't done these in a minute. So right now, so last night, let's preface this. Last night, I said to Chris, our accountant told us to buy stuff so we can have some more tax write-offs. I love accountants like that. <laughs> like, hey, you guys want to spend some more money? I was like, I do. Yeah. So I was like, I don't really think we need anything. And you guys know, we just started running with the Hustle Muscle podcast more full time now. So we're doing our weekly episodes. We just dropped a little bit of money on that too. You should probably show them a video of that setup. All right, yeah. So I guess um, Chris is going to film that setup and put it in this video because he's good like that. Um, we did spend a little bit of money on that. So we're kind of excited. One of the things that we've needed for a long time is a new computer for Chris. And we realized last night that his computer is from 2017. That's a little bit ridiculous. So. We went online last night. I ordered him a new MacBook. So he definitely needs it. So I guess this is like a bonus. Is this like your yearly bonus? <laughs> yeah, like, like, <laughs> Instead of paying him cash and buying him a computer. Like bonus. <laughs> so we're going to Best Buy right now to pick him up a new computer. And we have a whole bunch of things planned for you today. So stay tuned and see what we get into today. All right, so we just got to Pump House. I'm ready to train, but first I gotta take my pre-workout which is my Dust Reloaded, which you guys know I love. Is it okay if I'm the same? I'm catching feelings from all the dealings. I'm my astray. Let's go. What do you say? How are you feeling? Is it the same? I hope you're not planning to waste my time. To my surprise, that was her reply. Now we your vibe. It's been a while and such a ride of stars align. I love the fact I didn't let her go. She loves the fact that I just let her know. Now we're together, it's a different mode. We getting crazy in a different world. I love the fact I didn't let her go. She loves the fact that I just let her know. Now we're together, it's a different mode. We getting crazy in a different world. She my do or die, my bonafide My up when I'm down, she's always beside me She makes me feel alive, I won't deny Her love for me is real and kind of suicide She's not the same, she's such a rare type She's far from plain, at least in my eyes She said if I cross her, I'll be in the grave Or oh, you under attack, but yeah, that's still my babe I love the fact I didn't let her go. She loves the fact that I just let her know. Now we're together, it's a different mode. We getting crazy in a different road. I love the fact I didn't let her go. She loves the fact that I just let her know. Now we're together, it's a different mode. We getting crazy in a different road. kind of nice we haven't had any like real issues with people like trashing the house I think we just had a family in here with like three kids and a dog and we are pet friendly which I know for us is a big deal and I know for a lot of people everybody is kind of into like dogs and stuff so bringing like your family pet is kind of a nice thing so we do allow that um, but the house looks great and it's kind of nice too that we live close I know a lot of people 
do the Airbnb thing and they don't live in the area, but we do. So we like to come in and make sure that the house was kept well and then we give a nice review after um, we see that our house was kept well. So we're going to do that. We're going to get on Airbnb and leave this nice family a nice review. And like I said, it's been really great with the Airbnb. It's a lot of work. It's definitely a lot of hands-on, which is why if you're familiar with um, like owning extra properties like long-term versus short-term rentals your short-term rentals are considered active income because there's so much more hands-on and um, long-term rentals we don't even have to think about most of the year because we have amazing tenants so we had another successful booking at the airbnb and now we're gonna go home and we're gonna get ourselves ready for dinner we're going to Villa Toscana tonight which actually is pretty close to our airbnb but it is one of our favorite restaurants. So we're gonna go there tonight and celebrate with a lot of friends. We'll talk a little bit about that later. So let's go get ready for dinner. Okay, as you can see, I'm ready to go. We're all ready for dinner and waiting for two of our friends to come here because we are Ubering. There will be no drinking and driving. So we're going to wait for an Uber and head over to Villa. So the story on this is our first time doing this was three years ago. We did Villa Toscana with Ali and Carlos. Last year, we did Villa Toscana with Ali, Carlos, our friends Anthony and Sandy, so there were six of us. This year, there's going to be 12 of us going to dinner. So this is a tradition lasting now three years, and <laughs> you're not invited, but it just keeps on growing, which is so exciting for us, and our friend circle is growing, and we just love everybody. So we're really looking forward to it, so let's go to dinner. Oh, my God. 